The videos produced by the UAE Tourism Authority tell of a simple desert people who have turned their oil-rich country into a bustling center of commerce, all ruled by a benevolent royal family. But this video, smuggled out of the UAE, tells a much different story about the royal family and its failure to take action against one of its own, caught on tape in what can only be described as sadistic torture. Just the first few seconds of the 45-minute tape are damning enough, and it gets worse. With the help of a man in a police uniform, the victim has his legs tied and then is forced to the ground, held down by the officer as sand is shoved into the victim's mouth by what the UAE government now acknowledges to ABC News is one of the country's 22 royal sheikhs. Sheikh Isa, the brother of the crown prince, punishing a grain dealer he thought had cheated him. You donkey, you dog, the sheikh screams. That's the sheikh, right there. No doubt about it. No doubt. Houston businessman Bassam Nabrusi smuggled the graphic scenes out of the country. Really, to, to make my case that this man is capable of doing what I say he can do, that's the proof. Now, Bosi worked for and with Sheikh Issa for more than a dozen years. The Sheikh is not part of the UAE government, but when he came to Houston for weeks at a time, he stayed in the presidential suite at the Four Seasons Hotel and often had a police motorcade. Nabulsi says he and Sheikh Issa were business associates until a falling out that has led to a lawsuit and now the public release of the torture tapes. It's like you flip the switch and the man took a, a wrong turn in his life and start getting violent. Nabulsi says the torture took place at Sheikh Issa's royal ranch on the outskirts of Abu Dhabi. And he says, the sheikh ordered Nabulsi's brother to record the sessions so the sheikh could watch them later. At one point, the sheikh instructs the cameraman, get closer, get closer, let his suffering show. After using a cattle prod on his victim, there's this gruesome scene. The sheikh points to a board with a nail protruding and then begins to beat him again and again. Where's the salt, asks the sheikh. Salt poured into the wounds in the middle of the desert at night, tortured by a member of the royal family, held down by men in uniform over a missing load of grain worth about $5,000. There are worse scenes so horrific we can't show them on television. It's absolutely revolting and, and I must say I, I, I find it a great shame. Sarah Lee Whitson of Human Rights Watch says she has never seen such a graphic tape with the torturer flaunting his axe. Oh my God. And most troubling, she says, the role of uniformed officers in carrying out the torture session. They're acting under the color of law and they represent the government. Um, if the government does not uh, investigate and prosecute these officers uh, and those commanding these officers to go along with what we've just seen, um, then it is the state that is torturing them. But in a statement to ABC News, the UAA Minister of Interior, Sheikh Issa's brother, says, a government review concluded that all rules, policies, and procedures were followed correctly by the police department. If this is their complete reply, then um, sadly it's, uh, it's, it's a scam and it's a sham, um, and it should be called that. Sheikh Issa's one-time business associate, Nabulzi, now back in Houston, says he too was tortured by the police after his falling out with Issa and his refusal to turn over the torture tapes he had been keeping for the sheikh. When I said I destroyed them, he said, did the sheikh watch you destroy them? And I said, no. He says, well, we have a problem. In his lawsuit, Nabulsi says he was arrested on trumped-up charges, confined to a small cell for three months at the El Wathba prison. They would stick a finger up his anus and say, this is from Sheikh Issa, are you going to give us the tapes? They would... Um, keep him from sleeping, uh, deny him his medications, uh, tell, them, uh, tell him that they were going to rape his wife, kill his child, made him pose naked while they took pictures. In its statement, the UAE says Nabulsi, quote, was in no way mistreated during his incarceration. There's no record the U.S. government ever protested Nabulsi's treatment to the UAE, even during the state visit last year by Sheikh Issa's brother, the Crown Prince, to President Bush at Camp David. 
This is awful. This is terrible. <laughs> we showed the tape to Congressman James McGovern, co-chairman of the House Human Rights Commission. He says the U.S. government must get involved. Granted that they're strategically located um, in a key part of the world, uh, but it's hard to imagine that we're just kind of going on with business as usual when this kind of stuff happens. And my guess, this is just the tip of the iceberg. After first being accused of trafficking narcotics, the Bolsi was convicted by a UAE court of illegal possession of medicine described by his doctor in the U.S. The whole government is all brothers. What can you do? The tape ends with what appears to be a tempter murder. The victim is left semi-conscious as Sheikh Issa drives over him back and forth with his Mercedes SUV. Incredibly, Nabulsi says the grain dealer survived, but spent months in the hospital recovering from internal injuries. To date, there has been no police action taken against Sheikh Issa, whose brother, the chief of police, opened and then closed an official investigation. This is something that the UAE government must act on immediately in order to salvage its reputation of a country with any semblance of law and order and fairness and justice. In a statement today, the State Department said only that it urges all governments to fully investigate allegations of criminal acts. Nobulsi says he showed the tape to an official at the U.S. Embassy in Abu Dhabi the day before he was arrested. He says the only advice he got from the American official was to get his family and leave the country as soon as possible. Terry?